Now that we are well versed with the properties of NCR, let's finally jump to binomial theorem. Basically, it is just the expansion of x plus y whole to the power n and is given by nc0 x to the power n y to the power 0 plus nc1 x to the power n minus 1 y plus nc2 x to the power n minus 2 y square and so on till nc n minus 1 x to the power 1 y to the power n minus 1 plus ncn x to the power 0 y to the power n. In summation form, it can be written as x plus y whole to the power n equals summation from r equals to 0 to n ncr x to the power n minus r y to the power r. We can straight away make some observations from looking at this expansion. First, since r goes from 0 to n, hence number of terms in this expansion is n plus 1. Second, for each term in this expansion, the sum of the powers of x and y is n. For example, for the first term, it is n plus 0, which is n. In the second term, it's n minus 1 plus 1, which is again n. In the third term, n minus 2 plus 2, again n, and so on we can see it is n for each term. A third observation we can make is that the binomial coefficient of terms which are equidistant from the beginning and the end are equal. For example, for the first and the n plus 1 -th term, the binomial coefficient is equal as ncr equals nc n minus r. Similarly, for the second and the nth term, or the second and the second from the last term, the binomial coefficients are nc1 and nc n minus 1, which are again equal, as ncr equals nc n minus r. And so on, we can see it for the other terms as well. One important thing we need to highlight here is that since we would be using NCR again and again in this chapter, we use a simpler form sometimes to represent NCR and it is represented as CR. So whenever you encounter CR here, it would automatically imply NCR. 